Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I have come up with another makeup look for you guys and it is inspired by an amazing makeup artist on Instagram and he does the likes of Kylie Jenner, Kim Kardashian his name is Ariel or Ariel, I don't actually know how to pronounce it but his technique is absolutely flawless especially how he does Kylie Jenner's makeup he kind of uses a blending technique that is so seamlessly blended to the brow bone and then he uses a little bit of dark shadow near the root of the lash but because Kylie Jenner has lash extensions the whole look just looks absolutely flawless and beautiful so that's who I was inspired by today but I have used the Mario palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills so I think Mario has created such an amazing versatile palette it has a lot of different textures and a lot of different colors so you've got the cooler tones here and the warmer tones here as well so I particularly concentrated on these sort of colors here for this look in particular so yeah, so if you guys want to know how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Hey everyone, so let's get started. So first things first is to always prep your skin. So just moisturize, taking your favorite moisturizer. As you can see, I've already done my eyebrows. So if you guys are interested on how I did my brows, then please refer back to my first makeup tutorial. I've also primed the lids of my eyes using Creamy Concealer by NARS in the shade Custard. And then I just set that with a translucent powder. I'm now taking a Zoeva blending brush. I think this one is number 221. You guys can take a 224 from MAC or a 217. And then I'm just gonna be applying dark mineralized skin finish to my crease. This is also from MAC. I'm next going to be taking a powder foundation. This one is from a brand called Revlon. You guys can pick up something like Studio Fix Powder, something that's a little bit heavier than a mineralized skin finish or a sheer powder. This is to use in the crease above the dark mineralized skin finish, so it just kind of blends out any lines. I'm then going to pick up the Famous Master by Mario Palette, and I'm going to be using these four colors here just because they are on the more warmer side. And I'm gonna be taking the color Isabel first and using the same 221 Zoeva brush, I'm just gonna be deepening the crease a little bit more. I'm then gonna go back to my dark mineralized skin finish from MAC and just make sure everything is seamlessly blended. You guys have noticed that I haven't changed my brush, I'm just picking up different colors but because they're all of the same tone, it's not gonna affect the color so much. I'm now taking a blending brush by Iconic, London, I believe. They don't have any numbers on them, so if you guys just check out their website, you'll be able to find them all on there. I've picked up no product, I'm just kind of making sure everything is blended. I'm then taking a flat synthetic brush by MAC, I think this is the 242, and I'm picking up the shade Kim from the palette. It's a nice luster shade. It's got a little bit of a Velux sheen to it and I'm going to generously apply that to the lid. Make sure you're packing it on guys so don't actually be shy with the product, just pack it on. <laughs> Let me finish skanking. <laughs> so again, just continue to apply it to the lid. And then I am taking another blending brush. This one doesn't have a name, I don't believe. Um, but just something that's clean and something that you can just go over the crease with. And then repeat the same thing on the other side. So you can use any flat shader brush for this step guys, you don't have to use a MAC one. so many brushes. <laughs> I'm next going to be taking a 219 pencil brush by MAC and I'm going to take the shade Hollywood from the palette and I'm going to be applying that to the inner corners. Let me finish dancing. Hey! <laughs> hey! Yeah, make sure your brushes are clean guys, obviously I had a hair on that one.
and then I'm taking the same colour and I'll be applying this to the brow bone. This shade isn't so much of a highlight shade, it's more of a yellow tone but I, I think with this look it looks absolutely beautiful. So you guys can take any highlighting colour that you like but I prefer to use the full palette. I'm now taking a 266 brush by MAC and applying the colour Violetta just near my lash line. I'm not going to be using any liquid liner or gel eyeliner in this look, I'm just going to be using darker shadows to deepen the lash line. So as you can see I'm packing the colour too close to the lash line and then brushing it upwards to kind of mesh in with the colour Kim on the lid. And then I'm taking a pencil brush by Iconic London and just making sure that everything is nicely blended again. So again I like to pack the colour on with the 266 by MAC and then blend it out with the 219 or the Iconic brush. And then going back in with the shade Isabel and just going over the top towards the Kim colour on the lid. The whole idea of this look is to kind of make it all look like it's one shade but still look beautifully flawlessly blended. And then taking the two darker shades from the Kylie palette, this is the bronze palette I believe. So I'm just using the same 266 angle brush and again just deepening the line that I've created on the lash line. I'm then going to be taking my favourite mascara, which was the extended play, but I decided to go for the brown Horton Naughty mascara from MAC. And I'm going to be using the first opening, just because I want the mascara not to be too prominent on the top, as I will be applying false lashes, which is the step I'm about to take now. So these are the H167 lashes from Eldora. I will list all the products in the description bo box below, guys, so if you would like to know where these lashes are from I will list their website below. I love these lashes because they're nice and wispy and they give that kind of individual lash look effect. They look a little bit like the number 35s from MAC but I believe these ones curve more towards your eye whereas the 35s kind of stick out a little bit more. And there we go, lashes on. Let's just finish off dancing to this song. <laughs> Alright, so the lashes are on. I'm now going to take a makeup wipe and I'm just going to remove any excess fallout underneath the eyes. And then we're ready to do the skin. So I'm going to be using a liquid highlight from Becca Cosmetics. I believe this is in the shade Opal. There is one called Moonstone as well, I kind of chop and change between the both. And then I'm just applying this all over my skin. This time of the year my skin gets pretty dry so I feel like a liquid illuminator kind of helps moisturise my skin before applying any foundation. So I'm using my favourite foundation in the shade Olive, it is Becca and it's the ultimate coverage one. And I'm going to be using the Real Techniques foundation brush to apply it. And then, as you saw before, I have a beauty blender ready to blend everything out. <laughs> nice double chin there. Make sure you are taking the foundation down towards your neck as well, guys. The only thing I don't really like about using a beauty blender is that the fact that it kind of mattifies your foundation a little bit too much. So that's another reason why I like to apply the liquid highlighter underneath. So keep applying as much foundation as you would like until you're happy with the coverage. This foundation is quite heavy so I feel like two pumps is just enough. And just make sure everything is all blended in towards the hairline and the jawline. So now for those dawn black eye bags underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using quite a few concealers as you can see. 
Um, I'm going to be using the shades Custard Ginger from NARS underneath the eyes. Oh, maybe I'm not using custard. <laughs> so just ginger underneath the eyes first. So this is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. And then I'm going to be pairing that with the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. I think that's in the shade Neutral. Again, I will list everything below. And then I'm going to be blending everything out with my Beauty Blender. And then one last step, I'm going to be taking the NYX concealer in the shade 01. I don't actually know what this concealer is called, but I just like to use this a little bit just on top of the NARS and Kat Von D, just to kind of brighten the eyes a little bit more. And down the chin and the nose. Again, just apply, don't apply too much, just enough to kind of brighten up the eye area. I'm then going to be taking my favourite translucent powder, a lot of you guys probably already have this but it is perfect for my under eyes so I'm just going to be applying that with a damp beauty blender I like to apply a quite a generous amount underneath the eye just because I suffer from really dark eyes so I believe Using a little bit more will create a more of a delusional effect, the fact that I have no dark circles under the eyes. And then using the same powder just to kind of chisel out my contour a little bit more. And it kind of gives me a guideline for where I'm going to contour my cheekbones. Going back to the Master Palette, so I'm going to be using those shades Isabel, Violetta and Kim and going to be using the pencil brush from Iconic and just applying that to the lower lash line. And then the Kim shade just on the inner corner. Then I'm going to be removing the powder underneath my eyes using a Real Techniques brush. When removing the powder, try not to kind of brush it off too much, but kind of press it into the skin. Otherwise, you're going to be left with no powder underneath the eyes at all. And then taking the Illamasqua Illuminator. I have no idea what this is called. I think it's called Oh My God. And I'm just using a Morphe brush and just applying that to the center of my nose to highlight the Cupid's bow area. And then using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, I'm using the shade, I think it's Havana or Java. Anyway, it's the middle colour. And I'm just taking a Zoeva brush. It looks like the MAC 239. And I'm just sketching out the edges of my nose alongside the highlight we have just created. And then using my Beauty Blender, I'm just, just kind of kind of blend out any lines and then taking a MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Dark again and another iconic brush which is just an angular powder brush and I'm just going to be applying this to my cheeks so I like to kind of bronze my skin first before I apply any contour I don't really like to use a lot of cream contours just because I feel like I'm not the best at it so powders work for me, but if you guys like to use cream contour, then go ahead and do that step. So I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit to do this. And then again, just wiping off that translucent powder underneath the contour that we have created. And then using a MAC 188 brush, I believe. This is a dual fiber brush and I'm just going to be taking that Illamasqua highlighter again and applying that generously, generously? <laughs> generously across to the cheekbones, to the tip of my nose and a little bit more to the cupid bow area as well. Next I'm just taking the Becca Cosmetics, Becca Cosmetics palette by Jacqueline Hill and I'm just taking the 
orangey shade in the middle there and using a 129 brush applying that to my cheeks. I am then taking the Hourglass Blusher in the shade Nude Exposure and I can just apply that to the apples of my cheeks. And then going back to the Hot and Naughty Brown Mascara, I'm applying that to the lower lash line. If you guys prefer using a black mascara, that is okay too. I just prefer more of a softer lower lash line. Now time for the lips. So I am using a red pencil from Laura Mercier. Again, I'm hopeless with names, but again, I will list it in the description box below. But it is very similar to the shade Red by MAC, so R-E-D-D. Or you could guys could use cherry or any other red pencil that you like and just apply that to the lip line. As you can see, I'm actually shading in my whole lip using the pencil just because I believe that the lipstick will grab on to the lips a little bit better. Next, I'm going to be taking my favourite red lipstick by MAC and it is in the shade Lady Danger. If you guys prefer a different red, then go ahead and apply that. And then you're pretty much done. So that is it. That is my look for a day. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and enjoyed using the Mario palette just as much as I did. And I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoy. Bye.